Stalin, one of the most memorable leaders in the history of Russia, and not for all the good reasons. He grew up in the small town of Gori in southern Russia from a working class household. He was reported to be cold and cruel from those closest to him. I'm off to the University of Oxford to meet Professor Cullum to find out about his character and who he really was. Nice to Hello, meet you. nice to meet you. <laughs> so, who was the real Stalin? Stalin was ruthless. He didn't care what he had to do to get power, he would simply do it. I mean, this was demonstrated in 1924 when he prevented Lenin's final testament being shown in the 12th Party Congress, which of course was because of the demeaning statements made about him. Yeah, we've heard about that. Many of the people who were closest to also say in biographies and memoirs that he was scheming and dangerous to be around. Yeah, Stalin was a very dangerous person to be around this time, mostly because he was the leader of Russia by this time, and he could fine and dine any politician. Do you think that his background had an effect on how he turned out by the end? Yes, because his mum was a diabetic peasant, and his father was a cobbler, who used to beat him quite a lot. And uh, it's made him quite angry, as you can imagine, because being beat isn't too nice. He, he felt that he needed to prove himself to his... Uh, Parents are starting to become a priest, and he secretly studied the work of Karl Marx, which really captured his young mind. Vasarian, your son's read it. He's only gone and read the Communist Manifesto again. What? <laughs> Stop! You're meant to become a priest! Stop learning this Marxist crap! 